as students were preparing for their summer vacations, they received some good news from the innovative schedule committee that had been working through the year on a new and improved bell schedule. Students were excited for the new schedule, which featured the elimination of C-days in favor of rotating block days, as well as a 10.05 start on even days. Oh, I was really excited for that. That was kind of like one of the reasons I was like ready to go back to school. Um, the schedule that was proposed at the end of that year, I thought it was lit because uh, the even days we'd be getting in at 10 in the morning, which was nice because we get extra rest. I was a big fan of the new schedule. I was looking forward to it happening. Unfortunately, it didn't. Um, the biggest highlight for me was probably the late starts. But they were surprised to learn that over the summer, plans had apparently changed. David Foster, a student on the ISC, had more to say. Uh, we got approval from the outside auditor who looks at the school to make sure we're not breaking any laws. And they said that it was okay to count zero period as instructional minutes, as I read it. And so we based our schedule, and we relied on that, because, I mean, without it, that's a lot, big loss of minutes. And then uh, at the end of the year, um, decisions were changed, and they said no longer. Uh, and I'm not sure the exact details, but basically minds were changed, and it was no longer, we could no longer count those minutes, which totally messes up the schedule. And that happened at the end of the year, which is way too late. The new schedule kept the rotating block periods, but did away with the late start. This brought some mixed opinions from students. I mean, it's basically the exact same schedule except five minutes later. Uh, so I, I really don't think, I feel, I feel like we should have just kept the same schedule we had last year and maybe have changed tutorial up so that it actually would have worked. I think so far it's not too bad. I definitely think that the 10 minute per passing periods that we had on the first day of school were like super great. Um, I don't know, I think they're not bad. I'm not so happy about like all the tutorials and that we can't go different places, but otherwise, it's pretty good. Oh, I like really didn't like the one that they proposed last year. And I definitely think that there's a great improvement. I really like this new schedule. Um, I did not like last year's schedule. Um, I did not like how I could be assigned homework for the next day from Monday to Tuesday. So I was really happy to hear about the new schedule. I really like it. What we heard from other schools we talked to is that it takes about two weeks, or maybe a month for some students to get used to it, and then schedules like this that rotate become easy. And I will tell you, the first week I was a little confused, get having my odd days uh, on a Tuesday, but I think by now it's starting to become more of a rhythm and I think it'll all be good. But despite the unexpected circumstances, Principal Adam Paulson thinks things are looking up for the future. I think our plan is to reconvene the, the Innovative Schedule Committee. Um, they've done a lot of the research already, so we'll use that as, as a launching point um, and really get back into the process of engaging with the staff and students um, and, and all stakeholders, basically, to, um, you know, to, to, to get some data and to see how we might be able to tweak the schedule further. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, this will be... Um, I think this will be a good schedule for this year and, and we'll look at some data moving forward. I really wish we got a late start and I think that will definitely come in the future at some point. Uh, figuring out exactly how to make eighth period perhaps work. There are, there are ways, there are futures, um, but I think it's good as now. For In Focus, I'm Ori Nirpaz.